I think it may still just be available, but he's got the pink and the blues adjacent to a pocket, so he can bring that into play. Nine. <coughs> well, since losing the first frame tonight, Neil's really stamped his authority on this match now. Really dominant in all departments. Tremendous record in finals, six out of six. Yeah, that's an unbelievable record, isn't it? Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, it's something you can't teach ability to feel comfortable under the most pressurized situations. Well that's certainly going to help his cause now in winning this frame. He's got the black available into both corners. 23. You'd be surprised if he didn't make the 24. most of this opportunity. on the red has not affected the positional side. If you're in Sean's position, you'd be 38. perhaps looking at your opponent, saying, is there any weaknesses in his game? Is he not putting long balls? 39. Is he not scoring? Is he safety poor? Unfortunately, all three counts. Neil has been on top form tonight. Looks 100% focused on what he has to do. Yeah, as I said, uh, I think in the last 46. frame, when Sean won the first frame this evening to so reduce his arrears to just one, he felt that was a chance. And then in that all-important next frame, he made a break of 32 in the 10th frame, made a break of 32, went into the reds, just went a little bit awkward. 47. Think back and there was a red over the middle, he played the plant, it didn't go in. And he's never really had a chance since then. Neil won that frame with a break of 101. Only got a 35 break in the last frame, but it was a scrappy affair. And as 54. the guys were saying in the studio, he, he just feel it. He can play the scrappy 55. frames a little bit better than Sean. So this puts him 57 points in front with just 51 remaining. Sean Murphy will go to the mid-session interval with an awful 66. lot to think about. 63. And I think what Sean will be thinking, have to do better, can do better, must do better. You never know, sometimes interval can change things. But if there was no interval, you'd fear for Sean. 69.
Yeah, nice shot to develop the red. So every possibility now of another century for Neil. He's already made two in this match. Well, just Seven, a flick six. on the blue he didn't need. And snookered by the green, it appears. Well, no century, but Neil Robertson won't mind that. Sean Murphy and Neil Robertson go back to the dressing room with different degrees of thought. Neil Robertson will be delighted. Four frames in front, 8-4, needs two more for the Masters title. Yes, he's edging very, very much closer to this title, a first Masters title. As he just nips through to the media room for a, a cup of tea, I'm sure it will taste rather sweet at this point in time. Just assess the way both men have attacked the first part of this final session, Ken. Well, uh, when Sean Murphy started off, it looked like he was like free-flowing. Uh, but all of a sudden, Neil Robertson put the brakes on that very, very quickly. And uh, he's given sort of Sean Murphy a masterclass in all departments, uh, and particularly in match play departments. Uh, but his potting, his safety has been superb. I mean, Sean Murphy had him in a lot of trouble, but he came out with some great safety. But have a look at this pot to the middle. You've got to be so accurate with this. You're, you're queuing right beside the black, and he went on to make a frame and a break. But in every single department, Neil Robertson has been top quality. Can you see any way back for Sean at the moment? Uh, well, it's difficult, but obviously, as Stephen says, the interval can change things. We've seen it so often. Uh, what I suppose is interesting is, you know, which one of these players threatened to win this Masters, not just in this event and how they got to the final, but if you looked at the season so far, um, and interestingly, nothing, no, no ranking events, uh, for, but also what's happened is um, Sean, Sean Murphy's won in Brazil, a, a smaller invitation event, but Neil Robertson has been pretty devastating in the PTCs, which have been a constant thing that has been happening. So I always felt that he was in good form and a threat to be doing something this season. Sean Murphy, on the other hand, has been getting himself a bit fit, and that, I think that, that helps the situation. Um, so it was interesting to see who was going to come through, but of course it just may be on the day, and, yeah. and, but, but, but Neil does look very but strong. But your point is interesting in that Neil Robertson has amassed more ranking points than anybody this season, so he's effectively number one in the rankings for this term alone. Yes, he is, but I think like since winning that World Championship, he's just been you know, one of the hardest players to beat now. He's just given him that, that aura of confidence, you know? And you can tell even the way he goes around. And Sean is similar to that in that respect as well. But they seem to have a great aura of, of sort of authority when they're going around. And, but he, he just, his, his improvement in all aspects of the game has been remarkable over the last few seasons. And, you know, he's in this form, he's very, very difficult to beat. Sean Murphy's still in this match. You know, the interval has come at a good, good time for him. I mean, Sean Murphy could come out and win a couple of frames in quick succession. But he has to. The pressure is on.